Number 10 Agios Gordios. This charming, traditional town nestled at the base of Pantalaimona's mountain connects to three smaller villages, Cato Garuna, Pentadi, and Syarides. It boasts a mix of Corfu's verdant highlands, olive orchards, sandy beaches, and pastel hued homes. Number 9 Carician Lagoon. This enormous wetland, which spans 6,000 acres and is home to golden sand beaches, cedar trees, and dunes, is an ideal location for uncommon plants and animals to nest. Visit this location to see the stunning pink flamingos, cormorants, and Mediterranean turtles, or simply relax and soak up the sun under the massive sand dunes that cast a shade over the immaculate golden beaches of Issos Beach. Number 8 Asian Art Museum This unusual museum on a Greek island, located in an ancient palace, is a must-see for art lovers. Exhibits from China, Japan, Tibet, Cambodia, Thailand, and the Gandhara Kingdom, now eastern Afghanistan and northern Pakistan, are varied and may be found there. Number 7 Paleokastritsa Monastery One motivation to visit this holy spot is the breathtaking vistas of the entire island. Prominent icons are on exhibit in the museum. It continues to operate as a monastery. When you linger around here, you may watch monks going about their everyday lives. Number 6. Diapancha Islands Arakusa, Othoni, and Mothraki, the three Diapancha Islands, with boundless beaches dotted with dunes and crystal-clear oceans that make it the ideal site to indulge in Robinson Crusoe dreams. The largest island, Othonoi, is just 6 kilometers long and features stores, hotels, and even a police station. The smallest island, Mothraki, is ideal for going off the main road, with only three fish tavernas and a few hotels. Number 5 Love Canal in Sidari Romantics traveling to Corfu are drawn to this rocky, wave-worn area of the island. This is due to a local myth that states lovers who swim between these sea cliffs will always be together. Hold hands with your significant other to enjoy the renowned sunset of Sidari for even more romance. Number 4 Old Fortress and New Fortress Both have expansive views of the sea, so bring your camera. Perched on a rocky islet, the old fortress dates back to the Byzantine era. Don't let the name deceive you, the new fort is also really ancient. Constructed by the Venetians, it was erected in the 16th century. Number 3 Church of St. Spiridon From a distance, the red-domed bell tower will catch your attention. The ultimate resting site of the island's patron saint, St. Spiridon, is visible within. His mummified remains are kept in a decorative coffin. A local tale holds that the saint enters town in the middle of the night, leaving his slippers torn. Number 2 Corfu Trail this walk is ideal for those who like to truly experience Corfu's breathtaking scenery, which is dotted with mountains and bordered with beaches and lagoons. It will take some time to complete, at least eight days, but the trek is well worth it because of the breathtaking and varied terrain. Number 1 Achillean Palace This palace, now a museum, is close to Guvia and boasts a number of notable accomplishments. It's the casino from Free Your Eyes Only, if you're a fan of James Bond. It also has royal ties. Prior to being used as Prince Philip's birthplace, it served as Empress Elizabeth of Austria's royal retreat. 